RD, appreciate you, you joining us as always, buddy. Arkansas got some good news earlier this week. Uh, two defensive tackles up front. What can you tell us about the young men that have decided that Arkansas is, is where they want to finish school? Well, uh, Marco, uh, Marco, UT from uh, Little Rock Park. You obviously came uh, signed with uh, Missouri in 2016 with Barry Odom. So Barry Odom obviously knows uh, Markel very well and knows his uh, his talent. And uh, he uh, he before he chose uh, to be a Razorback, uh, Iowa, Texas Tech, uh, Michigan, Indiana, West Virginia, and several others uh, reached out to him. But uh, I think it was a no brainer from day one when he he you know, entered the portal that uh, Arkansas would be his first, uh, you know, look at a school. And uh, he just respects the heck out of Coach Odom tremendously. And uh, it, it's, a, a, it's a good it's a good marriage, so to speak. And then uh, Johnny Ridgeway, uh, he was probably the hottest defensive uh, tackle in the, in the portal until he, he announced for Arkansas. He, uh, I mean, he... He got an offer from Arkansas and then uh, Texas, uh, USC, Tennessee, and then Penn State, numerous others uh, came uh, came offering. And so that was a that was a big get because he was so so wanted by you know so many of the of the Power Five schools. All six six three twenty five of him. Uh, he was uh, all Missouri Conference, uh, Valley Conference uh, uh, as a sophomore, and uh, last year had had a good season. 22 tackles, three tackles for losses. And but only, well, only, well, I say last season, during the spring season, uh, and that's only in four games. So that's, uh, that's uh, pretty impressive uh, numbers, even just in, uh, for four games. But uh, uh, two good pickups. Coach Pittman's been saying for the longest that, that they were going to the portal to get some defensive linemen, and that's obviously what they, they were able to do. More portal news for Arkansas football, RD. George Caritan has put his name in the portal, according to Hogbeat. I think you guys over at Whole Hog Sports had that as well. Um, what's Arkansas potentially losing? And if I remember, this guy was pretty highly recruited. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously he's, he's transferring for a reason. And, uh, you know, if he, if he was the, if he was the guy, uh, he wouldn't be transferring. So obviously Arkansas is still in good shape there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, his credentials were pretty good, but, uh, but, you know, evidently he just, uh, he's, he's not the guy and, uh, he's going to try to be the guy somewhere else. Artie, let me ask you this. So, help us out with the scholarship distribution and kind of where Arkansas football is at right now. I, I think they have four open scholarships. Is that correct? Well, with, with the, with the, uh, yeah, with the guys, uh, uh, transferring and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I don't have this, I don't have the exact number in front of me, but I, I, I do expect, uh, maybe uh, another ad or two uh, from the portal. I don't know. We'll see. So Tommy and I were wondering this earlier, and we wanted to save this for you. How does that work? Because I, I know you can only sign like 25 guys over yet. Yeah, like, do they, they blue shirt them? Explain to our audience how that works when a scholarship guy enters the portal and that scholarship opens up. Well, usually it goes towards uh, the following uh, year, as far as uh, okay. a signing class. So uh, that's that's usually how it works, unless unless it, unless it happens uh, uh, before you sign in, in January or Dece in in December or, or February. Yeah. Richard Davenport with us here on the Morning Rush. Uh, earlier this week, there was some news on uh, five-star player Kajani Wright out of Los Angeles, six nine, two hundred fifteen pound. Power forward, uh, he made Arkansas has made the cut along with a list of uh, a lot of blue blood schools. Uh, what do you think Arkansas's chances are of, of landing this five star player to come to Fayetteville, all the way from Los Angeles? Uh, well, I mean, like you said, uh, top seven. But I, I reported uh, just shortly after he announced his uh, top seven that he would be making an official visit to Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So that's huge in itself. And I was talking to his coach, Doug Joseph, from the Compton Magic, and uh, just the relentless recruiting of him from uh, Coach Muss and the staff uh, made a major impact on him. And just the style of play is very attractive. And then there's some uh, there's some uh, mutual friendships uh, that uh, 
that they know that uh, that know Coach Musselman, Pete Davis, who played for Coach Musselman's dad, is uh, very well uh, uh, known to the Compton Magic. And he, he and matter of fact, I was communicating with him, and he, he was just raving about the Kajani. But uh, there, there's there's some people that uh, know uh, Coach Must that uh, obviously. It can uh, can help uh, with Arkansas with uh, Johnny, but uh, and just the the constant contact, the style of play, and uh, Coach Muss's uh, reputation is a big part of the reason why he's going to make an official visit to Arkansas. Uh, just reading from your report, if he signed with Arkansas, he'd be the highest recruit to do so since Bobby Portis, uh, who was uh, ranked number sixteen in the twenty thirteen class. Here's one other paragraph from. Your uh, article at Whole Hall Sports, I found it interesting that Kajani was one of 11 nominees for the USA Today's High School Sports Los Angeles Boys Basketball Player of the Year as a sophomore. That, that's pretty noteworthy right there. Yeah, it is. Well, it's, it's, you think about it, it's like Bryson Warren uh, from Little Rock Central winning uh, the Coaches Player of the Year overall in the state of Arkansas. It's rare for a sophomore to uh, mm-hmm. be nominated, much less win uh, one of those awards uh, but uh, obviously in in the city of Los Angeles right. uh, you you're talking about a population that's bigger than the, you know the, the state of Arkansas yeah. so that is a huge honor to Johnny be nominated ESPN has rated number 2 power forward number 16 overall player right now so uh, be a big give I, to, to Richard to me it's a big deal just that you you made the cut and you're in that group and you're listed uh, amongst these other schools like USC, like Stanford, uh, let me go back to this, Texas, Kansas. I mean, you know, good list of schools that, that you're you're in the cut with. And uh, the big deal is what you said first, you're getting a visit. Yeah, I mean, that's huge. I mean, let, let's face it, I, you know, I'm talking to uh, Doug, and I'll have more in tomorrow's column from Doug about uh, this. Uh, talking about Doug Joseph, the coach of uh, Compton Magic, uh, it just – you, you also, you know, you're talking about an L.A. kid, and they're coming to Fayetteville for a visit. The image of Arkansas still Arkansas in a lot mm-hmm. of people's minds. Right. So, that, you know, until they get to Fayetteville and realize, okay, well, hey, this is pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Now, but still, you're you're going from L.A. to Fayetteville as far as the population is going to be totally different than the, the pace of life and, and and stuff like that. But still, uh, it is huge. And I, I, it just it just show it reflects Coach Musselman and the staff's uh, ability to connect with the kids and just hey kids nowadays want to know that they're wanted and 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 there's so many kids that I talk to probably about every kid that you I talk to and every kid that you see on the internet being recruited by Arkansas or, they're always saying Arkansas is one of the schools that's recruiting me the hardest that's what you got to do especially if you're Arkansas. But uh, with his NBA background and, and uh, the NBA background of so other staff members, that that's a huge uh, huge deal to kids too. And he's the, he's in the twenty two class, right? Twenty two class, and uh, yeah, I mean, they, they, I don't know how this twenty two class is going to pan out. I really don't because you got a strong twenty two class in state, and there 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 are on so many. 22 kids out of state. I don't. Right. I have no idea how it's going to pan yeah, out. As Nolan, you say that things will work themselves out, but I'm just thinking you get a player like Kajani Wright, and then everything else that's working. Must if Must had those commitments coming here. I don't care what job. I don't care if the Lakers opens up. He, he's he's staying to see that thing through right there. I would think knowing what would be on the way for anyone worried about another job luring him away, something out west. You know, if you see something happen at UCLA. I don't care what. That's the kind of talent that also keeps a coach in place. Oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. And I'll, I'll just say this. Uh, uh, coach Joseph sent me a picture of uh, Johnny, and it was him flexing, you know, uh, during a workout. And, oh, my gosh, it, it, he looked like uh, he looks like he has an NBA body right now. It, it, it was uh, very impressive. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people listening, and I did initially 215 pounds. I was talking to uh, – uh, Doug was telling me he's about 228, and that, that that fits what I saw in the picture because he was flexing, and the, man, his upper body, everything was very toned. He looked like a man. R.D., before we let you go, 
Does Eric Musselman get an in-state or out-of-state five-star first? I know Nick Smith is, is kind of teetering on that line. Or does Sam Pittman get a five-star offensive line first to commit to the U of A? Which one happens quicker? You, you always kill me with these questions. Cause <laughs> I'm not, or does Ty I mean, eat a burrito good. before noon? Probably. Which happens? <laughs> I'm getting a barbecue, I think. That, no, that's a, I with a burrito or something, yeah. <laughs> uh, unhealthy uh, before noon. But, uh, man, hey, hey, roll the dice or flip a coin. I don't know. I don't know. It, I, I just know that uh, Coach Muss is on a lot of uh, uh, high-profile kids. Uh, he's uh, Johnny's not the only five-star they're, they're after. But, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, it's doable by either one. I, I really believe that. So does Roy Williams hanging it up at North Carolina help Arkansas with with Nick Smith? Because, you know, I heard there was a good relationship that had been built there. You know, and, and Nick even uh, said that uh, in an in- interview. Uh, I think I think it does. Uh, now, obviously, he's got to start. Uh, I'm sure uh, Davis was recruiting him, too, or, or maybe talking to him. I, I don't know. But uh, now he's got to start over with a relationship with him. So, uh, you know, in talking to his dad and talking to Nick, uh, you know, they say that uh, he's he's open. And uh, but you know, usually it comes down to four or five, six schools. I think Arkansas will be in that mix uh, when it, it's all said and done. But uh, who who will be the final uh, school? I couldn't tell you right now. Richard, appreciate it as always, buddy. And uh, we'll do it again next week. Talk a little uh, NFL draft, see where Felipe, Jonathan, and uh, Rakeem and others end up. Sounds good. See you guys.